Hello again everyone, Steve here from RC Tanks and Trucks 24-7. Now we're up to part two for how to paint a Tamiya hard body. Now like I said in step one, I encourage you to wash them thoroughly, make sure they're dry <coughs> before you start this important stage. Now here's my primer I'm using, like I said it's just a Tamiya surface primer, good for metal and plastics, but just double check before you buy something else that it's suitable for the substrate you're painting on. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm painting outdoors here, so ventilation shouldn't be a problem. But if you are painting indoors, please make sure all your uh, windows are open and you wear some type of uh, respiratory system or a mask or something like that, because these fumes sometimes do stink. <clears throat> okay, so when you paint the model, don't begin on the model and just finish like that. Kind of start away and finish at the end. So before and after the model, etc. So, let's get cracking. Okay, now there we have it. All parts are thoroughly coated. Just double check before you uh, finish up that everything's nicely uh, spread evenly and there's no uh, undercoat showing, or sorry, the original colour showing, and uh, that's it. So I'll uh, let this dry and I'll show you inside. Okay, guys, Steve here again. Now I've let the uh, primer dry, which is his now, and going to go over and have a look how it actually all went on any imperfections you can always sand out but generally it came it uh, went on very well now what I do is I generally get like a white uh, just a basic sorry paper towel and I just rub over the body before I want to paint the top coat because as you can see a little bit of uh, and that's like a dust will form over from the actual uh, spraying of the uh, primer, as you can see there, just 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 a fine fine mist. So I'll just go over the whole model and just wipe the whole thing down. Doesn't take long, but like I said, the uh, more time you spend preparing the uh, the base, sorry, the uh, primer the better the actual end result will look. So a bit of patience always pays out, uh, when, especially when painting. So I'll go ahead, finish doing this, see if I find any imperfections, and I'll go outside, paint the actual Mika red colour, and I'll show you how it looks. Okay guys, now as you can see, this bad boy's all painted up in mica red, turned out very well, it's got a, the paint's got like a nice, like a metallic flicker in it, it looks really nice in person and the uh, the lights in the room just don't do it justice, but I'm pretty happy with how it's turned out, there's some little parts I need to fix up here and there, which is normal, but overall, very, uh, very nice and happy with the actual colour itself. But in the sunlight, it uh, it looks really nice. Very happy, and uh, yeah. So then, in the next uh, video, I will be doing a lot of the finer detail parts, painting the black parts, the chrome stickers, 
uh, door handles and all that stuff, the interior as well. So stay tuned, guys. Thanks for watching. Appreciate your support, and see you soon.